Can you believe it? I have found some glow-in-the-dark glitter. Oh my god, I am so excited about this. You know I love my glitter, and I especially think I'm gonna love glow-in-the-dark glitter. So I'm gonna test to see how it comes out using this mold. I will link the mold in the description below, so don't worry about that. And you'll be surprised what this mold makes. I think it's gonna look Stunning. So, without too much further ado, let's get on. What I want to do is make these little lines stick out, and I'm going to be using a little bit of gold nail varnish, because it should stick out nicely against these glow-in-the-dark glitters. Now, if this doesn't work, all I have to do is fill these little lines in when it's all cured up. And if it doesn't work, I'll show you how I do that. I'm using a tiny little micro brush here, dipping it in my nail varnish and painting it directly on my mould. And as you know, this does work really well. It's not going to take many seconds to do this and I will let it dry fully before I pour any resin on there. I'll probably put it in my resin curing machine because that cures up the nail varnish in about two or three minutes. I'm using the J-Diction 4-Hour Demold Quick Cure Resin for this. The reason is it's a nice thick resin. It picks up detail beautifully. And also, I've not had any failures with this using the nail varnish technique. It does it perfectly. I've painted nail varnish into this heart motif here, purple and a little bit of silver, and I have no doubts that it will pick that up lovely. I'm saturating quite a lot of glitter in here because I want it to colour this resin as well as be really glitter. Now I'm sealing this pack up because if not I will knock it all over everywhere. Quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. Don't forget we've got some live streams coming on the Facebook group for members only as well as the other perks. So if you want to be a member and enjoy the Facebook tutorials that we're going to have running then the link for that is in the description below. Now I've got that all nicely mixed in. What I'll do is I'll pour this in, and I don't want to pour this in too fast because I know how messy I am, even though I do in a minute spill a little bit. Pouring it in and ensuring that it's all covered, making sure I've got it to all the corners as well. Don't forget, check out my Instagram and my Facebook page. The links for that are in the description below. Topping this up. I want to make sure I've got it right to the top. The other good thing about this, it's not a soft resin. So when it's cured, it will stay in shape. Thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. I really do appreciate it. It's people like you that allow me to keep making these videos and buying this stuff like glow-in-the-dark glitter. Although I think I would have bought it anyway because you know me, I do loves me sparkly glitter. Going over, popping any bubbles that are coming up and there isn't too many bubbles in this, which is great, but slowly going over that. And now what I'll do, I'll leave this to cure. This is all cured up, lovely, and it's gone nice and hard. I'm really excited about this. Oh, it's very sparkly glitter. I do like it. Oh, look how great those lines have come out and that extra bit. See, it just takes a little bit of time and you get those really great lines coming through and the finish with the nail varnish. It's worth just taking that extra time and it's so much easier to use that than anything else. And then all that happens is that fits into this bit here like that and it fits nicely in there but you will have to glue this in which is a bit silly of this really i think it it would be much better and i'm going to double check that i haven't underfilled this i don't think i have no i haven't that really should be slightly lower so you can have a base to it but we won't worry too much about that because we can glue that in there i really love how this has come out now i'm going to use a little bit of five minute epoxy as you know i do love five minute epoxy to glue this in and then once that's glued in i'll show you what it looks like once it's glowing if it's gonna glow that is we don't know it's gonna glow yet i'm not sure how well that's picking up in my camera but it's completely dark because it's night time in here now and that is completely dark and that is glowing really well i wouldn't say it looks glittery while it's glowing but it is still glowing so it definitely works i love it and i love the fact that it has got glitter in it as well actually you can see a little bit of the glitter i do love this mold i think it would make a great gift for somebody who's just getting married or for Valentine's Day or something like that. I think it looks beautiful. I will link everything in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the glow in the dark glitter. I'm sure it's going to make many more appearances soon. Enjoy your resin. Bye.